What is up and welcome back. All right, sorry about Sugar Bear and the Foodie Beauty uh, deleted streams videos. She just loves to be a part of things and she likes to be around people and it's so weird. I've mentioned this before. It's like when I turn on the light and get the tripod and I come sit at this desk, it, it's like so strange to me. It's like even since the first video I've ever made, it's almost like they know something is going on. Like they want to be a part of it. It's it's pretty cool actually, but it can it can be interesting at times. So let's go ahead and get right into it. We did our snack of the day and our drink of the day in the foodie video. Oh no, I spoke way too soon. I scooted my chair up so since we're doing a react that I can hopefully she don't try and maneuver under the desk. But let's uh, pray on that. So. All right, let's get into it. So I scammed, um, scammed. I skewed through this the first couple seconds, and it seems to be we are playing like a card game, kind of like a trivia or some kind of something. I haven't watched the whole thing, so I figured I'd wait for you guys. So I really don't know what we're in for. Um, I figured A, it's better than a mukbang, and B, it's uh, better than her random lipstick she hauls and things like that. Yes, I haul perfume and, you know, makeup and things, but it's like, okay, I got this from Walmart, and here's 10 lipsticks of this, and I, I don't know. Sometimes her hauls aren't interesting to me. I do like haul videos, honestly, but, um, I just, yeah, I, I skimmed through that one, and I was like, yeah, a couple lipsticks of this, and a couple purses, <clears throat> excuse me, that really weren't my style, and yeah, let's get right into it. So, um, I can't believe I'm sharing this. We uh, ought to be in for something. And, and again, I have not seen, I, I literally, um, I did skip the intro, intro so we could get right into it. And I can't believe I'm sharing this. Well, hopefully, I don't know. Here we go. I, I never know what to expect with her. Um, as of this time now, it is 11.52, and I know that some of you say, you know, Kaya, it sucks, I work during the day, why do you make your videos so late sometimes? Well, by the time I get my grandma, you know, if she's going to go to the store, I had a sleep study today, and we went to the store, and I also, you know, make sure when I get back to my house, if she wants to eat dinner with me, you know, she's more than welcome. That saves her from having to cook and, you know, having to buy ample food when it's only her, you know, my grandpa passed. So, you know, that just, it saves her money. It saves her from cooking for just herself and, you know, she can eat with me, no problem. So that's kind of by the time I get in, if I have an appointment or get her to the store, or if she has an appointment or Wants to go to the craft store, I gotta come in, you know, pick up, make sure the dogs are cool, let them out, get them fed, you know, check the mail, take out the trash, whatever I got shaking. But that is why my videos are up late sometimes. So, worst comes to worst, you can, you know, watch them the next day and, you know, all right. Um, and I'm okay with that. I just randomly thought about it. So, Becky and I love games and we have this one hold on before we get started i really wanted to mention something too we know I, well let's just say okay i know we've picked up some new people along the way so i'm a recovering addict and i wanted to say this where's becky where is becky now i know that just like foodie with pete's you know of course her and pete's are in a relationship it's you know, they're best friends, but it seems like they are to me, but, you know, excuse me, <coughs> when you are with, I apologize, um, when you are with somebody, and you love somebody, and they just got engaged, you would think that Becky would want the best for Amber, and it's like, when I was in, you know, the peak of my addiction, the person that I was with, they weren't, you know, they didn't have an addiction. So they were like, you really need to, you know, I want to help you pick up the pieces because A, I can't watch you go through this and B, I don't want to be a part of it. So it's kind of strange to me. Is it like Becky's not in, you know, because she's gaining two or is it like she doesn't want to hear the backlash? You know, people, I know other people have mentioned, well, a lot of people, where is Becky? 
Why is she not saying, hey, we've, you know, Becky's game two, we've noticed. She was losing for a minute, and there she was trying a while back, but that is all went out the window. Why is Becky not saying, hey, let me help you. Let's help each other get this under, you know, grasp. You know, you really got a serious problem on your hand. When she showed what she ate the other day, it was absolutely crazy. Just the box of Weedables and the cheese that I told you that I enjoy. But I can't imagine eating the whole box and the whole thing of cheese in one setting. Where is Becky at to say, you know, I want, I love you. I want to, you know, our relationship to last long. That is why I'm like, it, it's, it's very strange to me that, you know, yes, Amber seems uh, stubborn, of course, but... You know, when you love somebody, sometimes tough love is the key. And, you know, you have to really put your foot down and say, Hey, I love you. I don't want to see anything happen to you. I want to be with you as long as possible. Where is Becky and why is none of this going on? Extreme personal questions. And I've played this one time before. I know a few of the questions that are in here and they're very personal. So I figured... Let's shuffle the deck, pull some out, answer some, and in the comments below, you guys can also answer these questions. So, there's going to be some pipe and teeth for sure. Like, on the back, what is the worst stain you have ever left? Let's hope I don't pull that one. <laughs> the party game that breaks all what? boundaries. I think you already showed that on, uh... When you showed your uh, undies on the hospital floor, buddy. So, I, th I think we've already seen that, unfortunately. Are you guys ready? Let's do it. Okay, I guess we had some friends over. Because we also have the first one, the extreme personal questions. This is the more extreme. Um, Let me guess. We played with Dana and Destiny. Cards from this one and from the other. Okay, these cards do not shuffle very well. But we're going to work with it. Yeah. Not now, I will say, <clears throat> excuse me, I have asthma if sometimes that's why I cough and I'm kind of, um, my inhaler's downstairs. I really should have brought it up, but I am kind of having trouble. That's why you hear me. Um, so anyways, <clears throat> excuse me, this is better than a mukbang. You know, of course it is, totally. You know, it's way better than eating, but are we just, like, going to address nothing? We're just going to play a game and just roll on with life, and that's what it is. It's, like, it's so frustrating that it's, like, well, let's just play a game, you know, when you just, like, two videos ago showed what you were struggling and how deep you are in your addiction very good at shuffling because they're kind of like hard and stiff okay each card has two questions so i think what i'm going to do is just ask both all right What did you lie about the last time your boss believed your BS? I can safely say I have never lied to a boss. What are the sluttiest clothes you have worn during role play? Oh, honestly, just bare naked. Like, what? So far, I feel like the questions have been kind of meh. What is your favorite story or situation where someone licked you? Oh, Well, we're editing game here. All right, buddy. <laughs> oh God! Sorry, Where she my edited. Mind has went. I mean, uh, uh, Becky, like what? Uh, what? If the little angel and devil what? on your shoulders wanted to party, what would you do? <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh, this is going to be interesting. Um, we got Amber out here playing games. Foodie's in hiding. What? What is going on? Huh? I would party. I'd be like, let's go, devil. 
What is the grossest Shug. thing you've discovered growing on your body? Oh my god. Um, I want to say my lymphedema because it's just growing on my body and it's not stopping and it's just like it's here to stay. What happened during a time you felt like you needed to apologize during? This is. It's here to st like. Let's not try to do anything about it. It's here to stay. Like, I truly think that Amber and Foodie, they're just not. They're not in it to win it. They're not. Um. They're just gonna roll with whatever happens. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um. I don't know. This is just. It's terrible to watch. It, it, it's... Sex. Oh my god, I'm gonna get demonetized. I think that's the reason why I'm trying to be so PG right now. I could really go into detail on some of these, but I'm just, like, not. I guess the time where I felt like I needed to apologize... Oh, this is so embarrassing. Ugh. One time I started crying because it was just so passionate. <laughs> I'm, like low-key so embarrassed right now but it was just because it was so passionate and lovely and I, I started crying and I had to apologize next what was wrong with you the last time you really didn't want to see a doctor I mean I don't want to see one now and it's like just some Wait a minute. Situation. Wait a damn. Wait, we gotta go back. Sorry. What was wrong with you the last time you really didn't want to see a doctor? I mean, I don't want to see one now, and it's like just some pelvic pain situation that I'm going through. What is the meanest thing someone has said to you after? Some pelvic pain situation? Where do we even start? Where do we even start politely? Dude, you just had cancer, you say. And your pelvic is your lady regionals. And you have pelvic pain and you don't want to see a doctor? Is I played it twice for us. Is anybody else like what the was going on? I would be if I had a tickle shock in my pelvic. I would be on the first thing smoking, calling my doctor the next day. Didn't we learn anything from not going to the doctor? Are you kidding me? And we're just going to roll no by that on to the next question. To me. And when I answer these questions, like, I'm not talking about the past when I had um, horse situations. I'm talking about, like, situations where it was a yes between both parties. And I've never had anything, like, negative or mean or bad happen during a time like that. So I don't have an answer. Okay, what famous person do you most dislike that people say you resemble? No one says I resemble anyone, but I will say, which I've said before, when I was younger, obviously I was smaller, but when I was in high school, a lot of people said I looked like Kelly Clarkson, and I got it from a lot of people, and I don't dislike her, so I honestly don't have an answer for that. Oh my god, I feel like this video sucks. What has been your most public sexual experience? <laughs> I had sexual relations in a movie theater in high school with a boyfriend and um, it was a crowded movie theater and that's all you need to know. I'm okay. good. So I thought, didn't she say too that wasn't it another game or I don't know, a tell all or questions or something that she said she had simultaneously two fellas at the same time in a movie theater is the movie theater or jam or are we getting confused here if you were a 
witch. What would you secretly chant for when no one else could hear you? Uh, make me skinny. Make me skinny. Make me skinny. Hava dabra kadabra. What? Where would you most like to stick a piece of broken glass? And why? What? Let's stick a broken glass up Trump's... Okay, let's see. What is the closest you have ever been to engaging in no group sex? So... This is getting so demonetized. Like, what is even the point of this video? When I was in high school, me and my friend... I find that kind of like... Okay, there's tons of stuff I made that's got demonetized in the other day when I apologized about the upside down video. I was like, there's no way I'm going to try and even put ads in that. It's an explanation to them. Why would I put ads in it? Goodness forbid that you would come on here and, and exactly did you hear, did you catch what she said? Now I thought she enjoyed doing YouTube. That specifically says, and again, I know YouTube is her job. That is how she makes her money. That is how she survives. But she said she's got money in the bank. <clears throat> Excuse me, and she's you know got some money stashed away. And you just heard her say, "What is the point of this video if it's going to get demonetized?" So you can't come on here, have fun, give your viewers a video, and it's all because of the money. That's kind of like, wow. Again, I get that this is her job, but at a three million, <clears throat> excuse me, billion videos, goodness forbid, at 18 minute and seven that you're on here having fun reading cards, gotta make sure you get your coin, like... All right. And we were hanging this out is, with you don't do this for fun, buddy. Like you don't enjoy this. Way sexual relations, and that's all you need to know. I feel like I keep saying that, but it's true. What happened the last time you inflicted pain during sex? <laughs> Becky and I really aren't into like pain. I've actually never been in a relationship where pain was like, ooh. I'm so turned on, so don't have an answer. I Hold mean, on. sugar bear, no, I I, 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 no, okay. no, PP. Hold what on, had you done to go get in your bed, go get in sugar bear's bed. I, I'm sorry, you guys, I don't know what it is tonight. She just really wants under this desk. Shook, go get in your bed. I'm right here, I can see you. We're like feet away from each other, literally, or you can lay here with me. No, we're not getting... No, Shug. No. We're not getting under the desk. Man, they, they've wrecked this tripod, you guys. Cause it was coming boss. down. Did you see it? Hold on. Happened. Good girl. There you go. Getting Shuggy's bed. You got all your blankies. Good girl. Um, I only remember one situation, and this is so embarrassing. One situation where me and a boss got into, like, a moment... And it's because when I was a PCA worker, there was a lot of lull time, especially right after dinner. Like, once everyone was in their rooms and stuff, like, there was nothing for me to do. So, I would sit down and I would be right next to the phones for if someone called, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, but my boss was not having it. She was like, you don't need to be sitting down. Literally, find something to do. And it was like... But there's nothing. And I know me and everyone else I worked with, we all have the same problem. Um, it wasn't just me, but yeah. And what ways have you sabotaged other people? So we've all heard about the past of when they worked. So uh, they would play the piano when the residents were asleep. Um, uh, you know, eat and stuff. Uh, I'm sure in a nursing home or assisted living, there was plenty of stuff that could be done. Just my assumption. Over the years, I don't sabotage people like what? I'm very encouraging. Like if I have people in my life who are living a dream or they're trying to like work towards bettering themselves, I can't tell you that I've ever tried to sabotage them. I tried to encourage them. Okay. 
What is your strangest ritual? Hmm. I feel like when I'm put on the spot, I can't think of anything. I guess the way I clean, but I wouldn't consider that strange. I just have like a way of cleaning where I start in one area and I have to work my way towards, or this is super stupid, but like when I am at Target, I have to go the same path no matter why I am at Target no matter if I'm there to just pick up one thing or just to look around I have to go the same route or it's like uh, I don't know I think it's like just like a little OCD thing that I have what happened on your best hookup ever see this is I'm like really Tar a target at a oh my goodness like okay so what if somebody's in your way and we've all seen her clean it took her freaking 10 minutes to get some dead flowers in a trash bag she cleaned the count all right moving right along awkward because it's like i want to say something with becky but then it's like does becky want our tea out there like that what was the and question was like, sorry okay, well, just pick up one thing or just to Sorry. look around. I have to go the same route or it's like, uh, I don't know. I think it's like just like a little OCD thing that I have. What happened on your best hookup ever? See, this is awkward because it's like, I want to say something with Becky, but then it's like, does Becky want our tea out there like that? And then if I was like, okay, well then I'll choose someone else in the past. It's just like, but I literally have a fiance and that's like awkward. So without going into too much detail, I'm just going to say, you know, the first time me and Becky um, had our, you know, relations. I feel like this video is a freaking flop. What foods have you eaten off of other people's bodies? Mm, probably like chocolate, you know, whipped cream, things like that. When have you been the most inappropriate in a movie theater? Well, <laughs> already answered that question. Right. What is the oddest thing you have ever stuck inside of yourself? No. This is like an OnlyFans video. I'm going. Uh, I'm gonna regret this video. Um. <laughs> this was 15 years ago. What I'm about to tell you. So you guys can't twist it and say that I'm some type of freak or whatever. We've all done our stupid stuff. I was 15 years old. Okay, I had a boyfriend, and he wanted me. <laughs> oh, my Lord, what is this? He wanted me to take a photo of... <laughs> I can't even say it. I can't even say it. Oh, my God. He wanted me to take a photo of a toothbrush up my pajinki, and I did. First off, you know what? Okay, let's start with this. Okay, so I, I admit that I'm... The editing was funny. I think that's cool that she's trying to put a little bit more effort. It's a little bit of funny stuff here and there. The hee-hee-hee and the... the uh, but that's funny. Second off, to say that and have the, you know, we'll say the 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 boobs to say it since we don't have you know we're not men the holes but <laughs> to say okay uh she was honest i guess what what do you say with the hat what do you say um good thing i already i guess why i've been eating chocolate but i guess tonight when i brush my teeth <laughs> Moving right along. I don't even know what to, I don't know what to say, y'all. I don't Rich. know. Again, I was 15 years old. <laughs> I'm 30 now. So, it is what it is. What has been your most embarrassing doctor visit and why was it embarrassing? It was... I hope she got a new toothbrush after. my first pap smear, which was literally just last year. Or it was when I went to the ER because I was profusely profu pro you I had was eating it a lot you guys know you guys saw photos and that was when i found out i had cancer um 
it was not only embarrassing, but it was traumatizing, and it was just really terrifying. Okay. Why were you ashamed the last time you took a walk of shame? Probably, like, binge eating. Like, I was hanging out with Ben and Jerry in bed and, like, took the walk of shame when I went to go throw away the evidence in the trash. Where's the most unfortunate place? See, that's that kind of, like, I, I get she's trying to, like, I don't know. I, I just get, like, <clears throat> excuse me. I get she's, like, trying to be, like, I don't know. I guess I just take it wrong. Like, to me, it's, like, when she says that stuff, I don't feel, like, I don't know how to word what I want to say. Um, I don't feel, I guess, like she's being sincere. I think she's trying to be quirky and funny about it, but I don't think she's really, like, embarrassed. I think she's trying to, like... I, I still don't feel like they're ready to get help yet. They're, they're not at rock bottom, and that's scary. Like, she was trying to be funny and quirky, but no, like, this is real life, like... We're past, like, the fun and jokes, like. First thing I thought of, literally the first thing, it's right after Destiny broke up with me. And I'm sorry, me what and was Dana the question still, when like, I was talking? I apologize. Me and Dana throw away the evidence in the trash. Sorry. Where's the most unfortunate place you have vomited? First thing I thought of, literally the first thing, it's right after Destiny broke up with me, and me and Dana were still, like, kind of, like, mm, not sure about each other, but we all decided to hang out. Like, this was literally, like, a month and a half after Destiny broke up with me, and I was still brokenhearted. Like, it is what it is. And we all hung out. We went to Dana's, and I got wasted. Like, I don't think I've ever been that drunk in my life and i re i remember this and then afterwards I, I i don't really know what happened so this is what i remember i'm drinking everything i can we have some wine coolers we have some shots we have this like dark thing dark liquor that i'm like and i'm like i'm just i'm not feeling anything and I was drinking so fast. Like, I was drinking wine and this and that. Like, it was so much. I was mixing things. See, I and I kind of been in... We're, let me know if you guys like the story times. It's about... We'll do another story time if you guys like them. I kind of been in a situation uh, similar, unfortunately. But um, this, to me, seems like... You know, at least for me, what I gather, like... You're uncomfortable being in this situation. So why would you... What an awkward time to use the word situation, but this is, you're in an awkward position being around them, so you're trying to mask the pain by getting drunk. Why would you even put yourself in the situation? Like, that's what I'm gathering from this. Like, you're, you're, you know, definitely it's awkward, but of course, you know, I've been in a weird situation too, I'll tell you guys if you want. And I wanted to feel numb like point blank period so I'm like throwing it back and all of a sudden it hit me and I was sitting down this is just this is a story that me and Dana always share I start feeling it like everything is spinning me and Dana are crying to each other we could have been best friends I'm so sorry like this whole, it's a it's a mess Destiny's just watching us like, me and Dana, like, crying our, for our lives. Like, we, it, was, it was such a mess. Next thing I know, I'm, like, out of control. I was, like, blacking out randomly. And I literally told them, I will never forget this moment. I wish I could Google how to, how to make this feeling stop. And then all of a sudden I said... Oh my god, I'm gonna puke. Dana was drunk as a skunk, but she sobered up as soon as I said that. She went and got a black, huge garbage bag. Destiny and Dana both holding my hair back, because my hair was really long then. And I am profusely vomiting in a huge black trash bag. I'm like projectile vomiting as my ex-girlfriend who just broke my heart is holding my hair back and her 
current girlfriend, the girl who I hated, really, like, it was crazy. And then Destiny's like, you need to go lay down. And I remember, I had never been so drunk like this before. Like, walking? Walking who? I was like a stagger McJagger. And then they had a bed and a bedroom on the floor. So I got onto it and I was so scared because I was so drunk. And for a minute, I think I forgot <laughs> that Destiny and I were broken up because Destiny was sitting next to me onto the bed like just making sure I was okay she was trying to have me drink some water and I was like please hold my hand why won't you hold me why won't you hold my hand and all this stuff and oh my god and from that point on I don't remember anything that happened before that besides me waking up feeling like what just happened like I felt so sick the shirt that I wore was completely ruined like, it was stained. Dana tried to wash it for me. Still stained and ruined. So, it was just like... You know what I will say, though? <sighs> I will say, you know, I, I, I cannot absolutely stand how Dana and Destiny go through pets and treat their pets. But you know what? Dana does really seem... I mean, granted, you know, we know our girl gives her stuff. But Dana does seem like... I don't know, no one will say this and something will pop off a couple months down the road, but Dana does seem like she does genuinely like Amberlynn. I do kind of think that, honestly, like, to hold her hair back and, you know, this is your person that, the ex-girlfriend and, you know, she does genuinely seem like, you know, she is kind of Amber's, it, it's definitely an awkward dynamic, but, you know, to hold her hair back and stuff, you know, most girls be like, Pfft whatever, haha, ha, you know, but, you know, that was nice of her, you know, and to f try and wash her shirt and stuff, so, you know, that that was nice of Dana. It was a shit show. It was, like, one of those things where it's, like, you should have been there. Like, you should have been there, all right? What were you doing the last time you felt pathetic? Right now, I literally feel like this video is pathetic. For some reason, I thought I was gonna, like, get better questions and like go into detail and like I didn't know it was gonna be so R-rated like I thought it was gonna be super TMI but not like this TMI what is the most awful nickname someone has ever given you <laughs> well the internet has given me a few nicknames that I'd rather not um enjoy liar Lynn hate it big Al hate it you know things like that not cute not fun how would you describe your worst kiss ever? Well, I'm not going to say who it was because I'm sure they watch my YouTube. But it was someone I was very close with in high school. And we, we played truth or dare. It is what it is. And they kissed horrendously. The worst kisser I've ever, ever kissed in my life. Like, they used their tongue like this. And I'm like, okay. I didn't say anything, though, and I'm still not going to. But, I mean, it was just, yeah, I feel really bad for their significant other. Well, the like, cat's so, at the bag now if they played place, truth or dare with you. or stuck. I mean, I've been stranded on the side of the road. Sorry, you guys, stranded, I apologize. Like, the question was where has she been I stranded. I feel really bad for their significant other. That's all I got to say. Where's the strangest place you have ever been stranded or stuck? I mean, I've been stranded on the side of the road. I've been stranded at, like, a bowling alley. I mean, just, I don't really know. Nothing, like, super spectacular and, like, worth even sharing. All right, this is going to be the last one. What do you often lie to get out of doing? Becky, my back hurts. Will you go get me a soda? But then she'll do the same thing. <laughs> you know, just relationship stuff. What happened the last time your passion got out of control? Ooh, that's a good question. I mean, I'm passionate about shopping, and that kind of gets out of control, and I'll spend way too much money. All right, you guys, this video was not that good but i mean if you guys did enjoy it let me know we can do another one and you guys should leave your answers down below only if you feel like sharing because some of these were very tmi but i will see you guys in my next video bye okay let's talk let's talk honestly
Okay, this was for an Amber Lynn video. This wasn't bad. Now, am I absolutely appalled that she will not get her pelvis checked if she genuinely has pain? 100%. Is now the time to be playing games? No. But it was better than the whole. It was better than a mukbang. That I can say. I would totally give her that. Now, other than being pretty, like, super animated, I guess you could say, very, she's very, like, and I, I don't know who she's trying to emulate right now. She's very animated and very, and, um, and, uh, but this I found to be one of the more, I don't know, I guess you could say, not relatable, but more, I guess a little bit to whatever her personality is, minus the emulating somebody's features or being too... I don't know if you guys... Are, are you gathering what I'm throwing here? The very... The motions and the Amanda, Amanda, and that, like that. Um, I don't know. Again, so this was one of her better videos for her, I think, before you go... <laughs> Sending the squad out in the comments, but you know what I mean. Like, this was more, a little more, it's way better than a mukbang, let's say this. Now, should she go get the pelvis checked? She should have been got that checked as soon as she had some kind of pain at all. But, um, yeah, so, I don't know. Um, I'm gonna wait a couple hours to brush my teeth on that note, you know, so... Make sure you got your teeth brushed for the night. And uh, ladies, keep your fupas clean. Please keep your fupas rinsed and showered. On that note, you guys, Sugar Bear's over here right again. She just came back and she's getting a little antsy. So, um, oh, I know what I wanted to tell you guys. So, I have read your, I, I do read your comments. Sometimes it does take, you know, a while to get back to me. Sometimes we'll get swamped in videos. I won't get back to the comments for a day or so because I'm busy if something comes up. I want to get it out fresh. But I do read your comments and I've seen it a couple times and I will react to the Lady of the Lady of Heaven trailer. We're going to do that tomorrow. I get a special way. We're going to have like a little watch party for the trailer. So, um, Yes, yeah, somebody's requested that a couple times. If there's a different channel you guys want to look at, you know, whatever I take request. Um, yeah, so, all right, guys, on that note, Sugar Bear's getting kind of antsy, just laid down on the uh, cord down here. So, I'm going to spend some time with Sugars. Um, and we're going to do our try on haul and really knock some of this pile out here so I can get it put up and, uh, slide her over here to have a little seat. I got a David's tea haul I'm going to upload. And I think I have a Whole Foods, the bakery walkthrough. I don't know. I got a couple things. So have a great day, great night, and I love you guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good night. Don't forget, wash your fupas. Keep them clean. On that note, I'm out.